Tasker's widget v2 now supports custom font files. Check it out. In this example, I have the simple text with, um, with no specific font, but I can change it uh, between these predefined font families. So I could use this, or this, or this, but I was, um, I, w I, I only could select from this those options. But now if I clone this and use another text, there's this new option called font. And here I can directly pick a file with the font. So I could use this example font here. And if I save, you can see that the font was correctly rendered there. Let's try another one. Let's try this top one here. Cool. It says cool with this font. Now, not, of, not all of these properties are correctly supported when using a custom font file because in, because in practice, this is an image rendered with the text, so it won't wrap, it won't have a, a bunch of other properties, but most of it looks, uh, works correctly. For example, bold works correctly, italic works correctly, underline. You can change the color to any color you want, for example, this one. And most of it works, but some of this doesn't. So keep that in mind when using custom font files that this is simply an image rendered to show up on the widget. So if you run this, <laughs> now it's not that good a color. Let's change the color to uh, white. Okay, it's a cool font. So these are custom fonts in Tasker's Widget V2, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.